So I often talk about the differences between a micro brand, a micro independent brand, independent brands, and of course, major brands here on the channel. Today, I have what I think is a very cool independent brand to show you guys that is not only really well made, but it's also affordable. So I'm gonna get right into it. Uh, it comes in an outer box. That outer box is cardboard. It's white. Inner box is also white. It's a heavy lacquer wood box. You get international warranty. You get a certificate of accuracy. We'll get back to that later on. And you also get a certificate of authenticity. And this is sort of where I want to talk about what makes an actual independent brand. I've spoken about this on the channel a few times, but I think it's the attention to detail. It's Basically, what major brands don't do, they can do it, but they don't do it. And then there's micro brands who physically can't do it. And that's where you get it. You get it from independent brands, that attention to detail. Every little detail has been looked at and they go through every piece of the watch and do a great job with it. Also, some independent brands offer you the option to customize your watch. And that's a little bit of what's on the certificate of authenticity. You can see white panda dial. Obviously you get to choose your dial with any watch that you're uh, buying usually. Uh, and then it says yellow chrono hand, but it doesn't just end there. So you can see here it says Reuter DR02. That is the name of the watch. It is a chronograph promo edition and zero zero. So I actually got to choose the color and a few other things on this watch which I think is really cool because it is a promo edition uh, that was made specifically for me, which is awesome. So here is the watch. You can see this is a panda dial. It has a yellow chronograph hand, as we mentioned. This comes on the crocodile strap, which is beautiful. It's also handmade. Uh, the movement on this is hand finished, and we'll talk about the movement in a second. That's really the star of the show here. However, the dial is no slouch. Uh, the dial is a panda dial. You have that black chapter ring with the tachometer there, black sub dials, applied indices, beautiful dagger hands. I chose the color of the chronograph hand. It's in yellow. Uh, there's a little red accent there. It just says automatic chronograph above that and then Reuter above the day date. I actually chose the color of the day date. So we get to choose that as well. I chose black because I think it sort of balanced out the dial. I also chose the yellow because I really like the way the yellow pops on the dial. Some people might have chose red to match that automatic. I could see that as well. I think that would look really good. Um, obviously, it is a chronograph. You get black polish on the pushers. That's all done by hand. Uh, the case is beautifully finished. But this is not really the star of the show. The case is very nice and it's very nicely finished. Here is the star of the show. It is the movement. You get beveled edges. This is finished by hand. It is completely decorated by hand. All of the screws are black polished by hand. Even the rotor has beveled edges on it and is finished by hand. That is engraved and then filled with gold. And you could see the actual movement itself, you probably don't recognize it immediately. It is a Valju 7750. Now, when I first saw it, I took a double take to it because I didn't realize that it was a 7750 immediately. And then eventually I did. And I was like, I've never seen a two-tone, let alone a gold, version of the 7750. So obviously it's a gilt version. It's not actually gold. It is plated in gold. Uh, and that's what they do here. They take apart the Valju 7750, and this is a COSC certified version of the 7750. They take it apart, they finish everything by hand, and then they physically PVD coat, or technically I guess you would say they plate, the bridges and other parts of the movement in a specific color that you want. Now, you get a choice of just a few, but this is yellow gold. You get the choice between yellow gold, rose gold, which I am sure looks pretty amazing, and then of course, rhodium, which is just basically white gold or platinum color, uh, which will look basically the same throughout the entire movement, so it will look like a stainless steel movement. Uh, however, technically it'll give it a little bit of a glisten as well. Pretty awesome. 
That is something I have never seen before. And the fact that you get to choose the color is pretty spectacular. But that's not really where it ends. I mean, yes, you're getting to choose the color of the date wheel, the color of the chronograph hand. You're getting to choose the color of the movement, which is blows my mind. It's getting finished by hand. All the edges are beveled. The screws are black polished. You're getting black polished edges. This is pretty awesome. I'm gonna do tons of close-ups of it. It's beautiful. It's super impressive. I've actually put this on my Instagram already a few times because I am very impressed by the movement. I'm gonna do some macro of it so you could see what I am talking about. But let's even look at the strap. I mentioned it's a beautiful strap on here. You have large grain crocodile strap on here. It is handmade, hand stitched. But on the underside, you also get crocodile. Now, this is something that I've seen before, but I've only seen it on very expensive watches. This is not something that your average watch has. Uh, a very good example is Vacheron. This is something that Vacheron do, Patek Philippe. Brands like that will offer you straps that have crocodile on both sides or alligator on both sides. Um, really, really nice. So it's a smaller grain on the inside, larger grain, big box grain on the outside. Look at that. There's no holes because this is friction fitted. I'm gonna throw it on my wrist so you guys can see. So you just slide it into the actual buckle. And what happens is once you slide it in, you're gonna get it into a position and you're gonna lock it into that position by closing your strap. It does not move. It will not move when it's off your wrist uh, and it will stay in place. So uh, once you get into that right spot and you close the uh, clasp, it will lock into that position and that's it. It won't move. Really clever, signed of course. It comes with an extra strap. They give you one extra strap. I have two to show you. This is the black. It comes with a really nice tang buckle. So if you don't like this, you could use this, it is polished, it says Reuter on it. Um, really nice uh, straps, you can see they're signed on the underside. Uh, very supple, you have quick release, so everything is very easy. I'm gonna show you those straps on here uh, in the full review. But uh, beautiful watch, I'm gonna do some specs and then I'm gonna throw it on my wrist to show you guys. You also get a big sign crown, again, polished by hand. Um, so a lot of hand work is done on this watch. Um, this is a 42 millimeter watch, I believe, and it wears like a 42 millimeter. It's like 41.5 I've measured, um, and I've measured it a few times, 41.9, depending on where you actually measure it from uh, because of the bezel and the, uh, and the actual case, it's a little bit different. So it's about 42 millimeters spot on. That's what it wears like, so uh, that really is uh, what all that matters there. Uh, and here is the lug to lug, 50.6, so it's not, a tiny lug to lug, but it's really not that bad. Uh, obviously, sapphire crystals, 13.6 uh, millimeters thick. For the Valju 7750, that's not that bad. Uh, Valju 7750 is a thick movement. I believe it's an integrated chronograph. It is a thick chronograph uh, movement. If you've ever owned one uh, in, a, in a watch, you usually know that it's pretty thick. Uh, but before I throw it on my wrist, let me show you the watch I have on today. I have a pretty cool watch. It is my Eterna, this is the GMT. I think these are called the Advantech. I haven't uh, actually uh, worn it in quite some time. Ostrich strap on here. Uh, really interesting dial color. It's like a slate gray dial color with a uh, sort of like a, uh, I guess a record track that goes all the way around the dial, applied indices. Really a beautiful, beautiful watch. But talking about beautiful watches, this is just in a different ballpark than any other watch with a Valju 7750 that I have ever seen. And that's because of the amount of work that goes into the movement. And of course, on the dial side, like I said, this is no slouch. This is a really good looking watch. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. Uh, obviously it's a 42 millimeter watch, 50 millimeter lug to lug, 50 and a half millimeters, and then a 13.6 millimeter thickness. Let's start the chronograph. Really solid action on here, uh, and it sounds really good. So I mentioned this gets a uh, COSC certified Valju 7750, and they also give you this certificate of accuracy. And the reason why they do this is because they do take apart the entire movement here. Everything is made in Switzerland. So I actually spoke to the owner of the brand, Danny, 
uh, or Dan, who is the owner of the brand, also the watchmaker. Uh, they source almost all the parts for this watch from Switzerland. Obviously, the Valjoux 7750 is a Swiss-made movement, um, and then he assembles it here in the United States. Uh, so technically, this is a Swiss-made watch, uh, and it is a COSC certified watch. However, what he does is he then recertifies that accuracy on his own uh, sort of time grapher, I guess is what he's using, and he gives you all of the different positions there. Um, so in other words, he's just recertifying that it's still COSC certified or uh, in the spec for COSC certifi certification. Um, so technically, I guess, since he's taking apart the movement, it's no longer COSC certified. I guess the reason why uh, that is is because uh, if you take it apart and put it back together, if you don't do it right or you don't do it as well as it was originally put together, uh, the accuracy will fail a little bit. And this just shows you that he did, uh, does a really good job at adjusting the watch. Uh, and that's really it. So, Valjoux 7750, fly back right there. Awesome. Everything lines up. Uh, just a beautiful watch. And I really love that yellow. I think it really does pop. It adds a little bit to that panda dial, which is pretty damn cool. So you do get Loom on here. It's not a ton of Loom. I think it's like BGW9. It is Super Luminova. Uh, we'll do a quick Loom shot so you guys can see, and then we will talk about price. Well, there you have it. Decent Loom on here. It's really not that bad. Of course, all of the indices are Loom, but they're very, very small. Uh, so it's not a lot of surface area, so you're not going to get a ton of glow, but I think it's actually liberally applied. The hands are liberally applied. Uh, the indices are small. They are liberally applied, but they're small, so you're not going to get a ton of glow from them. But I'm pretty satisfied with what they've done here. Technically, this is a chronograph. It's kind of like a sports dress watch. Um, you wouldn't expect a ton of loom from it, and they've actually done a decent job. It's not going to light up the night or blow your socks off, but it's decent. Now, price on this is $3,950. Now, some people might bulk at that price and be like, that's very expensive. But when you're considering the amount of handwork, of actual handwork that goes into making something like this, um, that's really not that bad. And that's why I call this an independent brand versus a micro brand, because the entire movement is finished by hand, it's decorated by hand, you're getting beveled edges, which is something that you do not get at that price point. You're getting polished screws, something that you do not get at this price point. They're black polished, which is pretty awesome. That rotor is even got beveled edges on it. You have black polishing on the case. This is a handmade crocodile strap. Um, just a lot of attention to detail, even the strap itself, very easy to fit to your wrist because of that really cool buckle that they chose to use. You're also getting that option for customization with the chronograph hand, the movement color, and of course the date wheel color, color which I think is really cool as well. Uh, so there's a lot that goes into it, and I think the price is definitely warranted. Now, it is expensive, but you're getting something for that money. And that is something that I say, all the time. So if you're getting something that warrants the price, then definitely I would not call this price overpriced in, in any way. I think this is actually pretty good. Uh, speaking with the owner, he said that the movement takes over 70 hours per movement to finish. And I believe him because think about all the work that's going into it. PVD coating or plating or whatever you want to call it, hand finishing. There's a lot that's going into it. So I definitely understand the price. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I am super excited to bring you this watch. I, I really want to bring this to you guys. I love to bring you guys new watches to the channel to show you guys, uh, showcase new watches. Uh, and this is pretty awesome. I'm going to be doing a few videos with this in the future. Of course, I'll be doing a uh, full review. Um, this could be one of my favorite watches of 2021, I have to be honest. Um, but anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.